Good morning to all of you. Welcome back to online class. And uh, I hope all of you now familiar with this timing, okay? So only 26 are present. Sir, class is not started. So, sir, class has just started. And it is, the, and it is 9 o'clock. So, join the class fast, okay? And first of all, you have to put your attendance. Okay, very good. Now, today we are going to start a new chapter, Unit 10, okay? Good morning to all of you, okay? So, <clears throat> please open your notebook and your book, page number 97, okay? Now, in this chapter, we are going to see how uh, different animals move, okay? For example, if you have seen birds, then how a bird fly? Can you tell me? How does a bird fly? How does a bird fly? Can you tell me? So those who have given their attendance, now you can answer. How does a bird fly? Okay. Okay, so I am waiting for your answer. Do it first. With the help of wings. Very good, Ananya. From wings, Pratik has given. Okay. So, a bird fly with the help of wings. Very good. And you have seen different animals. And you have also noticed <coughs> that different animals have different movements. Is it right? Of course, different animals have different movements. For example, a bird moves with the help of wings. And a cow moves with the help of legs. Okay? And you have also seen insects. So, how does an insect move? Some insect fly and some insect crowds. Okay? Very good. Aparna, Elisha, Divya, Kushagra. Okay, so all of you have given answer. <coughs> now, do you know children? Uh, some animals live in water, some animals live on land and some animals move in the sky, means fly in the sky. So, depending on their adaptation, animals have different movement. If we talk about, uh, if we talk about water animals, then they swim, okay, because they have, what they have, can you tell me? How does uh, and water animals move, can you tell me? They have fins, very good, very good. For example, a uh, fish, a fish, a fish can swim in the water because it has fins, very good. And when we talk about the land animals, okay, so when we talk about the land animals, for example, cow, uh, donkey, you can also take uh, buffaloes, okay, and even we also, okay. So, how do we move? And these animals, we move with the help of our hands and legs. Okay? So, I am going to show you a picture. See this picture on your screen. Okay, very good. Ojasvi, Siddhan, very good. Now, see this picture on your screen. So, animals that fly that are pigeon, dragonfly, etc. Okay, animals that can walk and run, rhinoceros, cow, tiger, elephant, etc. Animals that can swim, shark, eel, etc. Animals that crawl, okay, crocodile, lizard and many more animals, okay. So, I have classified these animals and you can see some animals can fly, some animals can walk and run, and some animals can swim, and some animals can crawl, okay? And if you have noticed about these animals, then see, these flying animals have 
what can you tell me this flying animals have wings very good this flying animals have wings either big or small so with the help of their wings they can fly in the sky now when we talk about uh, second the animals that walk and run now these animals have you can see in the pictures what they have they have legs so with the help of their legs they walk and run now when we talk about the water animals especially fish sar then you can see they have fins okay even a small or big with the help of their fins they move they swim okay and now see the last one the animals that crawl do you know the meaning of crawl when you move forwards with the help of your hands and knees that is called crawl okay crawling so you have also seen babies a small babies they crawl on the ground okay so you have seen a small babies uh, in your home uh, if uh, if you uh, if you have a small uh, sister or uh, or brother you can see they do not move like us they do not move like us what does it mean means they do not use their legs and hands like us they just crawl okay they put their hands on the ground and they walk like animals but in a slow manner okay that is called crawling okay that is called crawling okay so so many animals also do crawl okay now you can ask your doubt if you have any doubt regarding these things that i have please don't copy my sentences okay okay upon now okay please upon now no, not to become uh, angry and you can put your own sentence if you make your own sentence uh, what is benefit when you make your own sentence then you will learn okay so please make your own sentence because when you make your own sentence you will learn okay definitely you, you are going to learn now today in this poem uh, how creatures move we are going to see the different movements of different animals okay so let us recite this poem and i hope all of you have also opened your book is number 97 how creatures move so some of you uh, have confused uh, have confusion that what is the meaning of creatures creature means animals okay creature means animals okay beta animals animals like we are animals cows are animals okay birds are animals so how animals move so in this poem we are going to see how animals move so let us recite this poem the <coughs> the lion walks on padded paws the squirrel leaps from limb to limb while flies can crawl straight up a wall and seal and seals can dive and swim now let us see uh, we have a lion a squirrel flies and seals so i am going to show you pictures so that you can easily understand these animals movement okay now <coughs> see this picture this is a lion now this lion has padded paws padded paws means padded paws means padded means uh a uh, soft mass okay means soft they have soft muscles okay <coughs> yeah, yes okay who has written a lion okay very good now with the help of uh, their soft muscles lion able to walk on the ground okay and all of us know that lion lives in forest okay and uh, and also lion is the king of jungle okay so what we have learned that lion walks on padded paws padded paws means they have soft paws they have soft paws and when we are talk about a squirrel let me show the picture of a squirrel now see this picture this is a, a squirrel now when we talk about a squirrel you have seen many squirrel in our colonies okay <clears throat> so how this squirrel move so a squirrel moves 
you have seen a squirrel uh, like to jump okay you have seen a squirrel like to jump with the help of his arm or leg okay you can see uh, his arms his arms this is a uh, his arms and there are two legs okay a small legs okay very good so a uh, squirrel jump very high okay and how he jump very high from from leg uh, from uh, with the help of his leg or you can say arm okay now when we talk about flies so some flies can uh, can uh, fly also because uh, if you see the name flies it has uh, means when a fly flies with the help of his small uh, wings okay but flies can also crawl crawl means uh, what do you mean by crawl when uh, someone moves forward on hands and knees that is called crawl okay is it clear to all of you now flies can crawl straight up a wall you can see flies flies can move on the wall and how they move they just crawl forward on hands and knees okay so you can see the picture of uh this picture is yes lakshita rathor okay covid mina crow okay you want to write crow so crow can fly with the help of with the help of what can you tell me crow can fly with the help of wings very good now see this animal uh um, maybe some of you have seen this animal this is also an aquatic animal means water animal so can you tell me the name of this animal anyone please attend the class on time i have always uh, said to you please attend the class on time some of you are late in the class so please wake up early in the morning now oh, very good prati very good uh, aparna very good divya very good so the name of this animal is seal okay and it lives in sea and ocean very good it lives in sea and ocean now how this uh, animal seal can move so it just it just dive and swim now this animal <coughs> what do you mean by dive can you uh, can you tell me this animal seal jump in water and it swim so this is the movement of seal okay it lives in very cold places you might uh, might of uh, means maybe you have seen this animal now we talk about worm the worm he wiggles all around the monkey swings by his tail and birds may hop upon the ground or spread their wings and sail now let us understand these lines so uh, all of you have seen earthworms so where does earthworm live earthworm lives in the ground okay and sometimes it also come out of the ground for his food now let us see this earthworm now the worms he wiggles all around now what do you mean by wiggles have you seen the earthworm how does uh, earthworm moves the earthworm moves by moving up and down so he moves back his body and move ahead okay he moves uh, he moves back his body and then move ahead means up and down this is called uh, up and down movement okay very good so an earthworm or a worm moves up and down and that's why he moves all around now many of you have seen monkeys how does monkey move so monkey move with the help of his tail and uh, you can say arm okay and you have seen that monkey jumps from one tree to another tree by with the help of his tail and arm okay and the last is and birds may hop upon the ground or spread their wings and sail now the birds when we talk about the birds uh let me show you a picture of birds yes so this is the last picture that uh, i have 
Now the birds, birds also jump from one place to uh, another place. Means uh, they have small jumps. Okay, but how they move? They spread their wings in the sky and move. They sail. Okay. So how does a uh, bird move? They spread their wings and fly in the sky. Means and sail in the sky. Now let us recite the last stanza of the poem. Give me one minute. Yes. But boys and girls have much more fun. They leap and dance and walk and run. Now, now um, <coughs> this poem tells us. That boys and girls means we, we human have much more fun. They leap and dance and walk and run. Now, uh, we can move, we can dance, we can walk, we can swim. No other animals on this earth can uh, move like us. Why? Because we have one net. Because we can swim. We can dance, we can walk, we can jump. You have seen in this poem, some animals can jump only, some animals can swim only, some animals can crawl only. But on this earth, human is only one animal that can move, jump, crawl, etc. Okay? So this line tells us, but boys and girls have much more fun. They leap and dance and walk and run. So we humans have all the funs. Because nature has made us like this way that we can do all this, do all the things. Okay, jump, walk, run, dance, etc. So what we have learnt in this poem, we have learnt about movements of animal. Okay, movements of animal, movements of animals. Okay. So we have learned the movement of monkeys, we have learned the movement of lion, squirrel, seal, worm, okay? And a student, you can also uh, copy the movement of uh, simple animals. For example, you can copy the movement of seal, flies, etc. But don't copy the movement that can harm you. Like, don't copy the movement of monkeys, okay? Because it is dangerous for you. Okay, very good. Now, if you have any doubt, then you can post your doubt in the comment box. Okay, no doubt. So, we are moving to the next one. That is, reading is fun. Okay. Now, in reading is fun, we have to underline all the action words in the poem. So, we are going to underline all the action words. So, what do you mean by action words? Action word means those words in which we see the action. For example, a word is eat. E A T eat. Now, how we can know that this is an action word? So, when we talk about eat, we have a picture in our mind that how we can eat with the help of our hand. With the help of our hand, we eat like this. So, we, we use our hand to take the food into our mouth. So this is an action. So when we talk about walk, for example, one has written walk. So how do we walk? So we walk with the help of our legs. So we have some movements. So when we have some movements, means we have some, we are doing some action. So those words that have some movement, some action that are called action words. So try to find uh, action words in the poem. Okay, some of you are giving answers. Okay, very good. Okay, Devnarayan. Okay, so please write your uh, children name. Walk. Very good. So we are going to underline. So you can take a pencil and and underline all the extra words in your book. So first, in first line, the word is walk. Very good. It is walks. Okay. Very good. Walks. Very good. Now, in second line, can you tell me? Very good. Lips. Lips means to jump high. Very good. Uh, 
uh, who is kartik hot is not an action word because uh, please <laughs> take a picture of hot in your mind does uh, can you see some action no 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 there is not any action in hot so it is not a uh, action word it is a distracting word okay so lips lips is right word because lips means to jump high when you jump high you use your legs and hands okay and in that you can see uh, action movement okay very good lips is right answer now come to the third line come to the third line <coughs> can you tell me in the third line when flies can crawl straight up a wall try to find in the third line okay so you you have moved on the 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 on the seventh line but i am talking about the third line so in first line we have walk in second line we have leaps and in third line where flies can crawl straight up a wall in third line okay very good uh krisha has given two answer fly and crawl but in third line we have not fly we have flies and here flies is not an action word okay because while flies can crawl straight up a wall so flies is not an action word there is only uh, an action word like c r a w l crawl okay now fourth and seals can dive and swim and seals can dive and swim okay very good once we have once we have given the right answer dive and swim okay very good dive and swim okay that's good dive and swim is the right answer dive means when you jump in the water that is called dive and swim then you can uh, after diving you can swim in the water okay okay afrin has given uh wiggles beta you have written wiggle okay so correct it it is wiggle w i w z w i w z l e s wiggles okay w i w z l e s wiggles wiggles means moving up and down so when you move up and down you use your body parts okay and that you can see the movement that is called action what very simple very simple <coughs> If you want to find X or Y, it is very simple. Just see, just see in which word there is a movement. There is an X. So a word has a movement or X. That is called X or Y. Okay. So we have done uh, fifth number now. Sixth number. Okay. The monkey swings by his tail. Okay, Afrin has given the right answer. Swing, very good, very good. Uh, Afrin and uh, Tanvi, Aisha, Shubham Pandya, very good. Aditya, very good. So many of you have given the right answer. So in sixth line, it is swing. Swing, very good. Now come to the number seventh. and birds may hop upon the ground so you have given hop very good h o p hop means jump again it means jump hop on the ground hop on the ground okay now eighth number or spread their wings and sail now or spread their wings for example if i say i spread my hands now my hands become like this i spread my hands now you can see when i say the word is spread now my hands see my hands movement so when we have movement then that word is called an action word okay so spread means to stretch your hand okay very good so spread is a spread is a what you can say action word very good very good so very good a spread and sail both are both are x word a spread and sail very good a spread and sail sail means fly so how does a bird move a bird spread uh, his wings 
and then uh, sail in the sky means fly in the sky. Very good. So both the word spray and sail both the words are excellent words. Okay. Now we have uh, number nine. But boys and girls, no excellent word. Have much more fun. No excellent word. So in ninth and tenth, we have no any excellent word. Now we talk about eleventh number. Eleventh number that is they leap and dance. They leap and dance. So they leap and dance. Leap, again leap. Again leap means what? To jump high. And when you jump high, means it means that you are using your legs. Okay. And then uh, you can easily see movement in that word. Okay. Very good. So leap and dance. Leap and dance. So when you dance, you use your different parts of body and uh, you can easily see body movements. Okay, so that's why dance is also dance is also an excellent word. Very good. So dance and leap both are excellent word. Now the last one is twelfth number. And walk and run. And walk and run. So what about and walk and run? So can you tell me? Okay, very good words. Walk and run. Both are, both are excellent words. Walk and run. Because when you see the word walk and run, you can easily see your legs movement. And when we have movement, then the word is called an excellent word. Okay. So all the words that is written on the blackboard are excellent words from first to twelfth. Okay. Now you can put your doubt. That uh, sir, I have not under, uh, understood uh, the word leaps or crown or die or swim or wiggles. Have, have anyone has any doubt? Okay, no doubt. Okay, so let us move on the uh, now. I have given a homework to all of you uh, when I have. Uh, taught you the chapter he is my brother then I have given you an activity to do so how many of you have uh, done that activity so those who have done just type yes just type yes those who have done uh, that activity I have given an activity that, uh, that activity is, name is value of uh, uh, something uh, value I have given Value okay. Trees of value. Okay. Tanvi has done. Ananya has done. Riti has done. Okay. Okay. So Harsha, no, you have not done. Okay. So those who have done, they can uh, they can just take the picture of that activity and send on my WhatsApp number. And those students who have not done, please do it as soon as possible because. It is important and interesting activity. Okay, and students, now let us do the last question of this session. Let's write. It's very easy, so we are going to do this question. Let's write. Just you have to match the animals' movement. Okay, so on the left hand side you have the names of animals, and on the right hand side you have their movements. So what you have to do? You have to match the movement with the right angle. Okay, very good. So the first animal is lion. Let's write. First animal we have lion. So can you tell me the movement of uh, a lion? It's wiggle, hop, swing, leap, walk, crawl, or dive. Very simple. Just write the answer. You have to match the right movement with the right animal. Okay? Okay, walk. Very good. Duck says walk. Very good. Now, second one is. 
स्क्वेरल्स स्क्वेरल्स हाउ डज स्क्वेरल गो ओके वेरी गुड दक्ष वंस ओजस्वी आयशा एलिशिया आफरीन शुभम कनिष्का वेरी गुड सो ऑल ऑफ यू गिवन द राइट आंसर वेरी गुड नाउ स्क्वेरल्स गो लिप सो व्हाट डज अ स्क्वेरल डू लिप लिप मींस टू जंप हाई वेरी गुड नाउ थर्ड वन इज फ्लाइज फ्लाइज सो फ्लाइज How does a fly go? It is given in your uh, poem. Very good. Crawl. C R A W L. Crawl. Okay. Now the fourth one is seals. So seals are water animals. Okay. Seals are water animals. So there is a word when you jump into the water that is called dive. so there is a word given in this column b that is called dive so seals dive okay when you jump in the water that is called dive now fifth one is worms so how does a worm move so a worm moves by moving his body back and then move ahead that is called moving up and down that is called wiggle very good worms tanishka very good that is called wiggle very good now we have two more animals we have two more animals six number is monkeys so tell me the movement of monkeys the movement of monkeys it is given in your book the monkey swings by his tail so it is swing okay it is swing and the last one is the last one is birds very simple the last one is the last question of this session birds how does a bird move how does a bird move very good kartik ali afrin ojasvi dutch and uh, tanishka Kar uh, very good so all of you have given the right answer now the last one is birds so birds hop 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 very good birds hop hop okay so we have completed uh reading is fun and let's write and we have also understood this poem that how uh, animals move okay different animals have different movement we have seen the animals that live in water how does i means how do how do they move we have seen land animals how do they move we have also seen so many animals um, uh, Uh, crawls on the ground okay so you can recite these poems at your home and you can also copy the movements of some animals but remember you have not to copy the dangerous movements okay very good now you can ask your doubt if you have otherwise i'm going to stop this class okay no doubt and please remember you have to do that activity okay and those who have done that activity please send please send that activity on my whatsapp number so this is my whatsapp number you can send your activity on this number okay very good now it's time to leave the class Thank you, Mr.